Hi, welcome back in the masterclass. In this uh, video I want to show you how to create a simple shell with a full simulation of the shell. How easy it is. When you want to create your own effects you need some technical information about the effect. Every effect should have a part number, a effect name, and some technical details. Like the caliber size a pre-fire time, the height, and the duration. Of course other information like colors, manufacturer, price or the effect type could be specified. So, if you wanted to create an effect, you had to go to the effects menu and then click create effects. When the dialogue to Serate effects is shown, you may be a little bit surprised because there are not so many fields to enter all the information we talked about. You may also miss settings to create the visual simulation of the effect like a color chooser or something else. We have only one line to enter information, one field for the part number and a drop box for the catalog. The green output fields below are not editable. Don't worry. Even with only one entry field finale makes it very easy for us to specify all the needed technical and simulation information. Finale developed a special language to describe effects that is called VDL. VDL stands for Visual Description Language. It is a set of rules and conventions for interpreting pyrotechnic effect descriptions based on pyro terms. Let's start to enter the caliber size of the effect. Maybe we have a 100mm shell so we enter 100mm. Before we specify the other details like height or pre-fire, specify the effect pattern for effect you want to create. Let's use a very simple one, for example a red peony and have a look at the output fields. Based on the caliber size the other fields like height, Pre-fire and duration are filled with standard values. You can also specify them in the VDL entry or later in the effect window. But let's go on here without any further changes and press the enter button. The upcoming dialog is telling you that the effect is created and was inserted in the specified database. The effect will be marked and we had to search for it. Here it is, let's put it in a show and check the simulation. You see, a red peony, just the effect that we specified. Now you are able to change the attributes of the effect. The effect table behaves like an Excel sheet so you can change the pre-fire time to 3.5 seconds. Maybe the shell is of good quality so let's change the duration to 8 seconds and maybe the height will be 150 meter. But there are a lot of other attributes that are not shown right now. Let's increase the size of the window and click on the gear menu you see now all the available attributes. Like manufacturer price. After it is not hidden any longer, you can specify a price for it. Because the effect is already placed in a show, Finale is asking us for every change, if his change should also appear in his show. That's is ok for me so I click on the yes button. If you want to edit the simulation again, you can make a right click here. From the context menu please choose edit this effect simulation or rack. Now you see the other specifications that we entered or that were taken from the default. If we want to change the duration here, maybe to 3 seconds. This is the pre-fire time, let's change it to 3.3 seconds. 
Of course, it's also possible to specify the size in inch. Let's also change the simulation because I made a mistake, it is a red palm. It has a silver tail so just type with silver tail. Wait. I made a typo. It could see that because it was not interpreted correctly in the output fields. So I correct it to silver tail. But there is another goodie that will help you. You can type the pyro terms in other languages than English. VDL can parse a lot of other languages like German, Spanish, French or Russia. Look here, I type the German color road and it is also translated correct in red. Let's press enter again and have a look. The effect is already updated and we see a red palm now. Let's show from the beginning and we also see the silver tail. If our effect is finished we can now also change the name of the effect to the manufacturer's fantasy name like Red Baron. You can change it here because VDL has a own column, so things are stored in different fields. If you edit the effect again, you see still the VDL red palm with silver tail and you are able to change or adjust it. So, this is really nice and fast way to create your effects. Play with it and enter some pyro terms and see if and how they are interpreted. Have a look at the VDL definitions in the generic database and see how different effects are defined here, and what kind of colors and pyro terms are used and supported.